Oh, oh what is this Afrobot revealing you? What did you do? Wait, hold on, what? Okay, hold on, I'm getting on. Interesting. Wait, what is this fucking comment? What? Since they've released Can Overwatch, some league games? Blizzard has no, just been sinking <laughs> I'm, far, I'm farming gone. the Bebe hey, mods. What's wrong? They're gonna happen. Oh. Oh, Overwatch just released. Cool new game that's a team-based arena shooter. Awesome. Anybody like the old games that we made before? Do you like? No, you do? Yeah, Warcraft 3's coming up. Classic. I mean, we, we talked about that like like probably 10 years ago, but it's happening now. You guys have phones? What's wrong? What, you guys don't have a phone? Am I getting smaller? Hey, all of our, all of our CEOs are leaving. Is that, is that, is that nothing wrong with that, right? Oh, like more employees? Like top level employees are gone? Since they've released Overwatch, Blizzard has just been. Nice memes. No, you. Ha! <laughs> no, Mr. Mooten. You. You. No, you. <laughs> oh my god, guys. David Pacman is such a fucking boomer. Holy shit. I, lo I love him. Oh my god. I don't even know if he knows like what a meme is. How old is he? I think he's like my age. He's like thirty or something. I think he just oh is God. like very boomer. More than Hassan. Super boomer. I don't even think Hassan is a boomer. Hassan is a boomer. No, if you meet like real boomers, <laughs> not like baby boomers, but like boomer boomers, I don't know. I think Hassan's been on Twitch enough now that he's not like a. You ready to go to the end? Wait, did they change the animation? Why do my hearts have like evil faces in them now? I don't know, mine do too. Go to the end? What the fuck are you talking about? Do we have any enchanted gear yet? No, I just. You don't need enchanted gear if you're good enough, okay? Okay, well then go to the end and kill the Ender Dragon. We'll all suck the dick, okay? Oh, that's hardcore, gotcha. Oh! Ooh. Hey, what's up? What's up? <clears throat> Pac-Man is 35 years old. Holy shit. Shut the fuck up, you dumbass boom fucker. Why aren't Old you playing TVT? I no, thought it's fucking not, Mr. Mitten. 35 is sprightly and Why young. does Dan always come in here? Seriously. You, I have a fucking problem with it. Cringy. Because <laughs> you're fucking I'm defending, cringy. I'm defending fucking boomers. I know you're not doing it. Who's it? Mr. Mitten, let me ask yourself. Are you still going to be a little bitch when you're 30 years old, or you think you'll slowly turn into him? Probably turn into you, be a bigger bitch. Oh, I don't think so, sir. Damn. Uh, wait, why am I not playing TFTs? Have you asked Steve? Mm -hmm. I don't know, I played it today. I thought you were gonna, gonna like... play those Jedi games. So you're gonna grind it. I, I was gonna go, no, fuck that. I'm a variety streamer. As much as I hate to admit it. What time is the Raw show? I don't know, he messaged me and he told me he'll tell me when it starts. I'm doing well. Are you? Yes. Doubt it. Our dance afraid. Of what? Can't say. <laughs> but he knows he is. 
Are you really? <laughs> Hark then? Are, are you afraid? Uh, oh, of certain things, yeah. I don't want to push it. It's not my fucking place. If you're talking about what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's wait, afraid. Wait, oh shit, hold on, wait. Uh, I think I just missed something. Hold on, what I'm are we not talking about? Wait, what are we talking about? Wait, are you muted or no? No, wait, no, what? Oh. Wait, what did I miss? Wait, what are we talking about? Oh, no. Wait, never mind that. Wait, what is he talking about? Wait, hold on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he is, isn't he? <laughs> he is. About what? Wait, oh, what? he is. He is. Oh, he 100 percent. I've never seen something. Wait, Mr. Mooton, you know what we're talking about. I you, DM'd him. Oh, what we were talking about today? Yeah, man. If we fucking do that shit. Wait, why though? Crazy. How? What do you mean why? Because <laughs> some men want to want to fuck watch the fucking world burn. That's why, dog. <laughs> nah, come on, dog. No, uh, fuck that. Afraid man, Dan. It's not about being afraid. It's about not wanting to. You're scared. To... Just say I'm, I'm scared. No, hold on. Just say it. Just say I'm, I'm scared. I'm not trying to create shit in my life where I don't need to create shit. Okay? Just say you're scared. That's not the same thing as being scared, Mr. Mitten. Okay? You're so like. Yes scared. or no? Is he scared? He's oh. I'm fucking terrified. Fuck off. Scared man, Dan. What are What is our goal right now in this fucking game? Kill the dragon, uh, idiot. Leather and paper. Okay, I keep making paper, but I'll go get some leather. Oh, I need to get another cow so we can have a leather farm. Dan, I need another cow. Can you bring your mom over? <laughs> Dan? How many people are on the server? Three. Maybe you want to go get her. No, oh, I true. Was, he probably did get it. I was letting it hang with how shit of a fucking joke that was, Mr. Man. Have you ever Dude. seen some of like the ultra fucking cringe tweets from Neil deGrasse Tyson? Yeah, most of his tweets. N yeah, there are like some. God, what is he like? He t it's like he's like the epitome of like the I am very smart. But what has he tweeted like um like today I had to show like he tweets it like today I had to show a piece of paper to a random guy that we think is responsible for things because of imaginary lines drawn on a map. Like he does like shit like that. It's like okay, dude, we get it. Wow, holy shit, what a brave, intelligent take. Where are the cows? Wait, he tweeted that today? Hasn't he tweeted that before? Tweeted what? What you just said. Oh no, that's like some tweet in the past. Apparently just recently he tweeted, all, all salt is actually sea salt. So it just takes a longer time to get there. <laughs> but apparently somebody re that researches it said that's not true, so. Did you see what he tweeted about cows? No, wait, what did he tweet about cows? Yo, Dan, are you here? Boomer Dan. Sorry, what's up? Uh oh, he's getting in trouble. Did you find your mom? He's is yelling at him. Oh, I'm not getting fucking yelled at. I'm like, it's okay. Oh. It's all right, Dan. You're afraid of two people. A cow is a biological machine invented by humans to turn grass into steak. Wait, human? <laughs> Wait. Wait, humans invented cows? <laughs> is that a thing? I didn't know that. Holy shit. A marveling. Genetic engineering. Wait, I lost my... Come along, duck. What did you just say? Come along, duck. Wait, where'd my other lead go? I'm pretty sure he was joking. Uh, <laughs> I've seen him tweet enough dumb shit to not ever assume that he's joking. <laughs> Unfortunately, I'm sorry. How is that wrong? It's... Well, one, I mean, humans didn't invent cows. And then two, it's it's just like a really tip-tippy thing. Who invented cows then, huh? God. <laughs> True. Oh, am I in the TFT sector? Oh, no, Ooh, like that's that. a ban, boys. Say goodbye, Metamutin. No, I'm in the Minecraft section, chill. Fuck. I was hoping we could fucking get him out of here. I'm sorry, guys. I let you down. 
Why, you're afraid of me? No? I can overtake you in chess at any moment. <laughs> That's a good one. Scared little bitch. Throw up a 30 plus zero game. Best of one right now, if you no, think you I can. No, I can't. I'm yeah, that's leading. what I thought. There we is. should play for our lives. <laughs> let's play, let's play a plus 30, <laughs> zero game. 30, zero game for our lives. Let's for do it right lives. now. Throw it up. I, I can't actually do it for $100. He won't. He won't hurt. do it. He won't throw it up for his life. Not for my life, Dan. My life's worth less than 100. <laughs> Come well, on. If you, take, if you factor in your student debt, that actually might be true. <laughs> <laughs> it actually is true, then. <laughs> You should be able to work your student debt off. Like they throw you in a fucking facility or some shit. I heard they were gonna do a thing where you actually can work your student debt off. After you uh, graduate from college, you can get like a job in the job market and then you pay back money to the people that have your loan. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> Why would you say you should be able to work off your student debt? What does that mean? <laughs> How else do you pay off anything besides working it off? You what just the work fuck? it off in a factory, okay? They, it's state provided jobs. Wait, I'm lost. Where is our house again? I think I'm going the right way. Can everybody play this game without texture packs now? Because texture packs are for bitches. Do I need to be ready to show up for fucking D&D &D on whatever day? That's the house. <clears throat> Explain it, Destiny. Y'all in your Twitter world have been bitching about Tyson to grasp for like five years. Wait, what? Is this guy mad for something? We're all mad. Neo deGrasse Tyson fan spotted. Let's get Neo deGrasse Tyson on startups. I agree. <laughs> Or 404, get on it. I think people like that probably want to get paid to uh, show up anywhere, though. No way, really? Wasn't there like a big thing where Neil deGrasse Tyson wouldn't show up to like a school because he didnn't get paid like $200,000 or some shit? I don't remember. I thought I read something about that. I remember that. a long time in the StarCraft community, I wrote something where I was like, if you want somebody to go on your irrelevant ass fucking podcast, fucking offer them money. And everybody got really mad at me. They're like, you never pay for interviews. That's fucked up. That's not integrity. And I'm like, all right, well, I'm not going on your fucking shit ass shows then. <laughs> Damn. Negative 200. Eight. Whatever happened to the people that used to debate religion all the time? Did that just kind of die out? The people that used to debate what? He couldn't religion? defeat the Christian God, so. The, the people that debate like what? Richard Dawkins and people. Oh, like they're that. still there. They do it every fucking day. They're crazy. On the scuffed podcast, you mentioned oh, wait, wait. playing the system and about how it's true in every I thought you said Darth. aspect of Darth life. Darth. Do you think anything can be done about how dehumanizing being forced to obey these rules is? And could you explain how you cope with it personally? What the fuck? Wait, one of these text documents has the answer. Wait, hold on. I'll answer your question in a second. Which one of these text documents has the diamond shit saved in it? I mean, new text document four 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 dot text. Good one, Dan. Thanks. Can I get some lol w's for Dan? I think lols are better than lol w's now. To show respect for a dead person. Oh wait, they're both the same dude, aren't they? You're so dumb. Sorry. <laughs> fuck off. You fuck off. Vanilla Minecraft resued and sleeper. Nice. Where in the fuck? Is the server dead? No, you're dead. My sheep were stopped. Where the fuck what? Get in the pit. Wait, Dan, can you talk? Lol. 
I too can read chat and see chat suggestions of things that would be funny. I know that's where you get most of your ideas, but... Uh... Your mic's a little robot Dan. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, is it? Hello? Dan? Oh, hello? Dan, are you there? Hello? Oh, it's fixed. Oh, Atlas getting in on the memes, too. It's fixed, it's fixed. You're good. Oh, good. I'm glad that it's fixed, dude. I was really worried. Why are you so mad? I'm just trying to fucking let people hear I'm you. I'm mad in general, okay? You're molding. Wait, how do you have, do that? You have money. I, ha I have all my hair. Uh, what do you do? Keep have, it in a jar after it falls off your head? I have more <laughs> hair Good than you Steve. do, Mr. Moon. Mr. Moon, your, your hairline's worse than mine is. Why are you bullying me? My hairline's beautiful. Yeah, sure. But it's less of a hairline than mine. No, nope, your you hairline's bullying. shit. No, it's not. And it's, you're going to die before me, Dan. That's and I also probably... Die. Actually, realistically, it's probably not I'm true. I'm excited. No, I don't think I'll... I think I'll live longer than you. Why? I, because I think wealth probably buys me more years nope. than you being 10 years younger than me. Nope, we'll see. You'll probably die in your... Let's see. How is Mr. You're going to die tomorrow if I want in a video uh, game. I'm oh! Whoa, in a video whoa. game. Wait, what? While I'm playing a video game, you're going to kill me? Whoa. In fucking Rust, dude. You're going to kill me while I'm playing Rust? In Rust? Yeah, that's right. You better be a little bitch and say it in a video game, Mr. Man. You know, if I was going to say it to you, I wouldn't say it in a video game. Yeah, go ahead but and I know say it. No, I'm just saying. I under you're I under scared. <laughs> you're scared of three people now, Dan. I understand. Wait, first off, it was only one person. Well, your wife, you're scared of her, too. Ho yeah. ho! Jesus. And you're scared of me, so three. Dan, how many L's can one man take in a single day? Well, right. thanks, Gagrim, for the 18 months, buddy. Oh, I'm full cam. Sorry. I'm just fucking chill, guys. <laughs> Have you been full cam this whole time? Your mom's on full of cum this whole time. Oh, damn! I highly doubt that. <laughs> a lot of robots or whatever outside. Robots? Zombies, whatever they're called. What the fuck? Oh Doesn't my matter. God. You're losing your mind, Mr. Moot. Boomer Steve. Soon. You know, you do a job and you expect payment. <laughs> did he do a good job, Dan? You wanna? Oh, we can get into that. You, you know what? He did a better job than Cake did. I'll tell you that much. Ooh! Wow! <laughs> Mr. Moon does better Mr. jobs Moon than Cake, actually, huh? Mr. Moon was fucking furious with Cake while we were there. I was not furious. You were furious. You're you lying. Are. No, you were complaining. Why would you private. fucking lie? Uh oh. I was, it was just, you know, I don't know, it's put me in an awkward spot. Dan, you're so fucking dumb. <laughs> I just started playing Minecraft again after a few years and enjoying it feels good, man. Feels good, man. What is it, cuck word?
that has been trying to solve like different problems. And like it started off with like a lot of like, how do you process negative comments? And I, we talked about that one time before. Yeah. Um, yeah. And your the basic answer was like pretty much every single person that um, uh, is posting those comments is like just a, a fuck them. Yeah, totally hopeless. Like they're base and and like I I did what you recommended, which is like go through people's like I kind of like go through a person's Twitter and see like what else the type of stuff they kind of post. And oh then, damn, um, I didn't necessarily recommend that. I just said if you do it, usually well, people are sad. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But I would yeah. never recommend that because you might fuck up and you might see that the person that's criticizing you is actually some really successful person, and then you feel like. Yeah, sick but I never did. They're all they're all fucking hosers. It turned out. So oh okay. But now but now I have a new problem. <laughs> so, yeah. so um, what's happening is um, I'm doing these. Um, I'm doing these like kind of like big deep dives into like Twitch meta discussions or subjects or things like that. Mm -hmm. And what happens is um, influencers, like bigger influencers particularly will, or, or just people in general will, and I knew you would be able to impact this. They'll take one sentence or two sentences out of context and then they'll use that to misrepresent the entire story. And this has happened to me on Reddit and YouTube and all over the place and I, I don't know what to do about it. I assume this is the, uh, uh, the Keemstar. Yeah. That's part of it, but but it's it's um like that's that's it's it's like a it's sort of a it's a trend, but that's part of it, yeah. Um, listen, man, if you don't have haters, you're not doing it right, right? <laughs> what um like what what in particular I guess is going on? Because it really so, depends on. No, Devin, remember the quote from my wall. All right, if you Your never want to be if you never want to be criticized, don't do anything new. That's it. Devin. Wow. Thanks. Good man. one, Dan. Is that that's really on your wall? It used to be. Not anymore. Why not? Because he was tired of getting criticized. <laughs> no, because I, <laughs> that and I painted my walls, so uh, I have to remember it in my mind. So it's not. So the whole idea of like like haters is like whatever. Um, in particular, though, misrepresentation is a little bit different than hate, right? Like if somebody's just posting like, "Hey, you're a shitter," that I, I'm. I, I've gotten to the point where I'm fine with that now. Um, the the trouble is like, what happens is, and, and this is why I thought. You guys would have some insight, especially Steven would have insight. Into There's this no effective counter to this. Time. Like I've really? literally heard of like stories of like girls that don't talk to me because they think I'm like into like kids. Like I, th I've legitimately heard things like that before. I mean, it's like really rough. I don't know how you do like how you engage in like a like a dis disinformation campaign. I'm not. No, I'm not well, sure. you know, what, Devin, if you're going out there and you're creating essentially um, your brand, and someone is basically uh, at this point possibly taking away from it that, you know, essentially like ruining your career or something or, or mm -hmm. threatening with this bullshit, you know, that might be the time to like, you know, consider if you're doing something that's definitively wrong, um, uh, if, if it falls under legal guidance. No, fuck off. What? You might, yeah, well, I mean, listen, if someone's actually doing libel or slander. Yeah, then... I actually, I think he's, yeah, I consider that. Like, that's that's right. Um, but I, I think like if you do that, I think it has another like whole like PR implication too, right? Well, I mean, look, there's certainly, there's a, what's it, the, uh, what the fuck is the name of that goddamn thing? That, uh, uh, I forget the name of this thing, but it's, yeah, you make a bigger deal out of it than, than anything else. It's like, it, making it's a mountain out of a molehill, Dan? No, that's not what it is, okay? It's something fucking else, okay? It's some goddamn singer. Mr. Martin, like real that. quick, I need some you to come down here, okay? The Streisand right. effect, yeah, yeah. The Barbara Streisand effect, okay? Uh, the one stairs? Two yeah, for the you, one Mr. stairs. Martin. No. <laughs> Rip. <laughs> oh, Fuck no. this stupid game. Okay, so there's so like you're saying. I mean, I, Destiny, this must happen to you all the time, right? Like, yep. like let's say that you take because what you'll do is you'll do the, the same thing that I do, but in a different context. You do like like different subjects, but you'll take a subject, you'll do a deep dive into it, you'll come to a conclusion, and that conclusion is based off a lot of previous premise that you established to get to that conclusion, right? And and what happens to me is like the whole premises get ignored. So and then like one thing gets misrepresented. So this happened in the alinity thing where um like I did I, I I did like a whole take on like Twitch's inconsistency with bands and like what's going on there. And then like someone just took from that like Good one save. single clip where I said, well maybe Alinity just like doesn't um does it like like uh because like train was saying last night um that like alinity like is confident so she th that's why she's not going to get banned i was like well, maybe she just doesn't feel that and then that got taken out of context and like i got a bunch of emails and shit so it's like and people ignore the entire argument and then they take one thing from it i don't know what to do or maybe like is it just the answer is just to ignore it um 
Yeah, I mean, there's not much you can do. You can, like, make a video and, like, speak out against it or something, but, I mean, otherwise, people are always going to try to misrepresent what you say, and then you, other people use it against you, yeah. Have you done this? Have you made, like, a follow-up video if you feel like something is not being clarified? Yeah, I tried it before, but, um, this what is happened? always, this is what I called earlier, um, I call this the lose-lose-lose. Um, so basically, um, somebody comes out with some piece of slanderous information about you. You have three ways you can engage with it, and every single way is a losing path. You have to pick which one loses the least. And the first way, you don't address it at all when you don't say anything, meaning usually the rumor will fester and people will start to believe it's true because you haven't addressed it. So that's the yeah. first way. The second way is you come out and you directly refute it. When you directly refute it, you open people, more people up to attack you um, because they'll try to take issues with certain parts of your refutations because you're not being clear enough, you're not releasing enough information. Um, and then other people, you you know, we'll, we'll just say that, you you know, you're just refusing it because you obviously know it's true or whatever, right? And then oftentimes these statements are, are, are not good because you need to release more information to actually clarify a position or something, especially if it has to do with personal information. And then yeah. the third way you can do it is you can actually start to release more information to 100% clear up like a prior point. But then you've gotten to the point where you're releasing more personal information and now people have more things to attack you with. And if you're wrong on any minor point at all while you're doing any of this, or if there's anything else that could be twisted, it will be. And then you'll look even less credible. There's, mm. there's like no good way to deal with people that are slandering you. It's an incredibly effective way of discrediting somebody online. Holy shit. Um, what if you, so one thing I'm considering is like, um, what if you like respond with just a incredibly positive take? So like you do something like you respond. So, so like if I'm getting like a lot of tweets like from someone like Keem, right? Mm -hmm. And then I, I respond with a tweet like, hey man, like really appreciate you shouting out smaller content creators. If you want to get the full information, check out youtube.com slash Devin Nash. So right? you want to like, literally like fucking up. enrage him into ruining you is what you uh, Well, countering with like, me. Really, he, he, countering like, with really positive stuff, if you have that kind of demeanor, <laughs> um, people will have a harder time attacking you. Fuck I off. So if too. I was going yeah. after, you guys are completely this wrong. Is a, this is a classic. I know this because I used to try this shit when I was in fucking school when I was reading that dumbass how to win friends and influence people book here is like a real life tip that, that you can that you can give to somebody if you are nice to somebody it is impossible for them to be mean to you um, if somebody comes after you and says like man like you fucked that up so hard like what the fuck mm -hmm. were you thinking it's really hard but if you respond with that when you're like man I did really fuck it up like you seem no, to know how to do it can you let me fucking finish it. if you if you tell the person something good or if you make yourself out to be like a good person like if you ask them for help or something or you say like hey thanks for this like you, we can clarify this or whatever people will have a really hard time being mean to you okay go okay Devin didn't say he was doing that Keemstar is basically like hey Devin you're full of fucking shit you're a moron I wonder what else you're fucking stupid about and Devin was saying hey how about I respond back with hey dude thanks for shouting out a smaller content creator that's not like being nice like hey yeah you're sure right. that thing is like that sounds a little bit passive aggressive but like a comment it's like that like hey sure but the comment but if you say something like hey like i appreciate you like shining a light on this issue like if you think my take is wrong or whatever like feel free to stop by and you guys can talk about this exactly. here you can comment it here like that yeah, type yeah. of invitation for, for discourse makes it a little bit harder for people to come at you like eventually you'll start to look bad if you're hitting on a person that's like pretty open to dialogue and isn't being combative back yeah mm -hmm. that that is true yeah. um but i mean with what Devin was saying that's like sure, with a hyper specific kind of example and the way that he worded it, that was poorly yeah, phrased yeah, that, because it sounded passive aggressive as fuck. Steven but yeah, you, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you well, know. no, I because because I saw this was on Devin's stream. Like, should I post this or or not? Type of thing. Oh, Just saying that, like, that's because I mean, I thought this was like a safe thing you're ready to do. Um, mm -hmm. No, you're right. Yeah, I, like I was trying, to, I was just considering different options. Though, Dan, you're totally right. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, don't know the right. So answer. yeah, if you if you're like kind of a bitch back i don't want to say like a bitch but if you're like super friendly like oh wow i didn't look into that uh yeah we should talk i didn't know i was wrong boy i was just doing my analysis sure that's gonna make it fucking go away just like ignoring it will make it go away the same thing but I mean, it, well ignoring things don't like always it. make them go away actually people will hold things against you forever this is so like this is a question that i had when um naked ape released that video about me um his destiny is autism that had like a mm -hmm. whole bunch of like a lot of this stuff was just not true a lot of it was like barely true or like stretched to like absurd lengths um and so I decided not to make a response video. He's like, oh, fuck it. I don't want to give it more attention. But it still got a lot of attention. People still talk about it. I finally did make a response video where I like pretty clearly refuted pretty much every single claim. But people still say like, oh, well, actually, your refutation is barely good enough. Or that doesn't even excuse that, blah, blah, blah. I was like, oh, okay, well, fuck. I don't know what the fuck the point of any of this shit is. So this goes just back to like no good answer. <laughs> like... 
Basically, um, like, I mean, I think like there is no good answer, but like the least bad answer, doing like proper responses is probably good because people yeah. will use your refutations. Your fans will use that as as their arms, like in the battlefield. So, for instance, I've seen once that video got released. So, like as a large content creator, I can usually tell when somebody's posting shit about me somewhere because I'll start yeah. to get like a lot of attacks that I haven't seen before. Like if mm -hmm. I start to see like a whole bunch of people come up and say like, oh, um, Destiny, you're so stupid, your knees are shit. And I see like four people use that insult, like what the fuck? I know that like somewhere on 4chan or Kiwi Farm, somebody's made a post like making fun of yeah. my knees. Like because, yeah, because yeah, it's so weird, yeah. Um, but like what happens is, is like you'll see these comments. If you actually make like an official response to something and you say like, well, hey, um, you know, like this is this and that's that. What will happen is when people make those attacks against you in the future, your fans will respond with your responses. You kind of like set mm. the dialogue that other people you get. You like hand out arms for people to fight with, basically. Yeah. Um, so in, in a particular situation where I have like a few like select influencers who are like, um, like saying something like this or Mr. Zephyr, like you'd think that there's no response to do because all of my videos already cover the subject. Mm -hmm. So, so like, um, so like specifically, no, what, Sorry. um, like specifically people are saying like, oh, like Devin said that phase w will get shut down. Right. And what I said was phase could get shut down if these following check boxes are checked. Right. And, and, and so like, <laughs> There doesn't really need to be. I don't a, know. I think you made stronger statements than that. I I recall I you. Absolutely did, but I yeah. but I um I didn't have have the full information either. So like I, I like, we're talking about a period of time that's like three weeks and five videos. Uh huh. So like by the fifth video, when I'm aware of like like Lee Trang's connections to the Labor Commission and like what's actually happening, then I'm I I can go back on a couple of things and be like, okay, like it's now more likely that these things will happen, right? Sure. But yeah, so so like regardless, or I can just say like outright. Like if phase doesn't end up getting shutting down, I can own that too. I don't know. I don't really care. I'm not. I'm, I'm not like. I'm not like particularly bothered by being wrong about this as well. If people want to take it that way, either. Mm -hmm. So uh, like, like the question is like, Wait, so I don't know what a response video would look like, right? Because like, it's like there's no response. Like the information is presented. It it, it's, it goes one way or the other. Mister, come help me. I need help. Hold on. Just going, hold on. fucking get down here. Kill these fucking dudes. Holy <laughs> shit. Hey, if we all die, we can start over. I gotta yeah. put my shield on. I'm walling that shit off. Okay. We're getting shot at from both <laughs> angles. Go, you're gonna die going over there. Good luck. That's all you. 100% solo move. me. I can't. I'm fucking There's healing. There's only one. Okay. Now we're on land. <laughs> Do you need food? Okay, I'm going back. Okay, I'm sorry. Keep going. Well, that was it. I just, that's where we go from there. Devin, I haven't seen all of your stuff, but you're doing primarily like opinion pieces, right? Um, what I'm trying to do, I don't know how well I'm succeeding, is I'm trying to get, I'm trying to take issues in gaming, is, issues in the industry, and I'm trying to provide an objective view of like what's happening around those issues and clarifying them and then coming to a conclusion based on that. I don't know, like I have varying degrees of success. Sometimes I do it well, sometimes I don't. The phase example was one where like I could have done a lot better, for example. Basically, um, you have to like, when you go to shit talk somebody in a game before the game's even started, the more you shit talk them in the beginning without even playing, the more epic it is when you win and the worse it is when you lose. When you're giving yep. opinion takes about news, it's the exact same thing. So like, okay. if you give a take, like phase is gonna shut down 100%, blah, blah, blah. That's an epic take. It's gonna get a lot of fucking attention. And if you end up being right, it's really good. But then if you're wrong, there's a lot of blowback. I don't think there's a way to like avoid that kind of thing. So I mean like the, the way that you can kind of approach doing opinion related stuff is you can either like try to temper the takes quite a bit, which makes them a little bit less impactful because you always have wiggle room. Um, or you can just give the nuclear takes and then accept that when you're right, you're gonna be really right. And when you're wrong, you're gonna be really wrong basically is. Yeah, that makes tons of sense, okay. What, what, um, what's like, what is your general strategy around that? Like, what do you do? I don't give a fuck. So that's like my, I, I don't know. I, nice. Steve's never wrong, right? I'm never wrong. Yeah, just, just don't be wrong in the first place. Just be, make sure that you're cognizant at all times of like how you're acting and, and the way that you're doing things. I normally like being really confrontational. Um, I'm wrong about a lot of shit, but like, I understand that if you're wrong about something, if you can just fucking weather the storm for a few days or a week or two, it'll blow over. It always yeah. does. Even when it seems impossible, that spoiler gate stuff, right? It blew over after yeah, it took like a month, true. but it yeah. did. But like, yeah, as long as my dick pics got fucking leaked i fucking streamed the next day didn't talk about it a week later fucking blow over like just fucking just 
keep moving forward. People forget shit. <laughs> it can be really hard. It feels like in the moment, like it feels like the world is ending and everything is fucked. But if you give things like a couple weeks, like the internet's like memory is very fucking short and people yeah, get over shit. Now. Yeah, like really quick. <clears throat> hey, how much shit are you getting from as a result of Keemstar's tweets right now? Um, like in what, how do you define like, like how, like, are you getting emails? Are you just getting like random ad just like, just like dozens Twitter? of DMS with like clown faces and comments and shit. <laughs> and yeah. And, and like people don't usually, people usually don't do the work to like, these guys are all like 12 year olds. So like, I assume, so like they don't do the work to like find my email or like my business contact and shit. They just like, they just DM me clown faces or fucking comments and shit. And then come into my Twitch chat. That's all. It's not, it's 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 a lot though. It's like more than um, I I expect. Do you think that Keemstar is doing a larger piece on you? Um, no. no. I, yeah. I like, normally I would say no, but the, like who else has he brought up like five times in a yeah, row? In the last like couple saying, days, yeah. like like he said. Doesn't he, Keemstar do... normally do that when he finds a dude, he'll tweet about him a few times, and then he tweets some other dumb irrelevant shit about him a few times, and then eventually he moves on to the next shit. Isn't that like his job? Yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah, it's I mean, literally it's, drama it's, alert, right? It's literally to yeah. That's why I thought that the best result might not might be to not engage because like it's just it just feels there's there's no winning against someone that's completely unreasonable, right? Like any any attempt to engage with a person like that will just not result. Like I can present fa like objective <laughs> I, I like logic and it won't matter, right? Like it's just, it's just not the, the the content, right? Well, you're not you're trying to convince everybody else, not him, right? I guess yeah, but like I I feel like I've already done that a lot through like videos. Um, but those people that are not those people are not going to be convinced, right? They'll they they'll, they they won't watch the videos in the first place. They're not going to take the time. Hmm. But no, I don't I don't think so. And like uh, if there if there was like a hit piece, what would it be about? Like I don't really have a lot of dirt uh, in the industry. I've had a pretty like solid career. Um, there, there's not really any bodies buried with me. I guess you could mis you could misrepresent it somehow, right? Like that that could happen. But I don't know what you'd go after. I mean, like, I guess they'd find something. Like they found stuff on Steven, so. <laughs> well, but I have a lot of legitimate dumb shit I've done. <laughs> it's a lot different. You, like, is it like you 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 think you have like bodies buried and shit? Like. Yeah, of course. I've done a lot of crazy shit. I called a fucking Korean dude the G word when <laughs> in my Starcraft days. What do you mean? I've got a ton of shit. Oh, okay. I've been involved in. <laughs> okay. as fuck. Yeah, maybe it's different. And I like, made a lot I, of I, personal mistakes, and like, yeah, of course, I've got, I've been involved in a lot of dumb shit. I, I feel like if you, yeah, I guess I feel if you want to go after like a, like you look at my business history, you look at my sale of like M and I guess, or like I don't even know where would you go, like like uh, maybe like you'd find that old video of me dancing on YouTube, and mm -hmm. I don't know, like what do you what, what? Yeah, for somebody like you, I don't think you've been involved in a lot of dumb shit that people could like blast you over or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Can, Can we, we call like you Steve? a corporate show? That's a compliment. <laughs> totally fine with that. Careful. Depends on which community you're in. Oh, that's true. I'm I'm in the uh Are you really yeah. sleeping? How much of the yeah, I think how many people need to sleep? I think it's like seventy percent, so I think I need to. I'm out of here. We only have we only have one bed. Well, you better make a second one and you better not connect them. Why not? Because I said so. Can we sleep in the same room though? No. Too bad. Bitch. Just love you, idiot. So your old uh so your basic strategy with this is like if you feel like the issue has to be represented more, um, like you'll make maybe a response. If it gets big enough, if not, then like if you think it's cool and like you've explained it pretty well, don't give a fuck and just wait for everything to blow over, basically. Yeah, and as long as you're yeah. like being nice and cordial on the other end, like I think eventually, like the 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 
the winds will change. It seems like it's not, but like, so like for instance, like I very specifically, I think I even said this on, on stream a few times, like I very specifically handled myself like in a particular way after mm -hmm. all of the, uh, after all the stuff with Hassan, like I very specifically didn't attack him. I very specifically didn't make any personal like mean That's comments right. about him or anything like that. And, and for the most part, I avoided like shit talking his takes and anything related to that um, mm -hmm. after everything. And I did that like with a very intentional take in mind, right? And I saw like, if you read the comments like over and over and over again, like eventually, I think I, I even made the comment, I think in my chat that like, um, it feels like you're playing a game of league and the enemy team is like 15 and two, but then the Yasuo get, like starts tilting and runs it down mid. And as long as you don't fuck the game up, like you're guaranteed to win. Like that's more or less kind of like what started to happen was like Hassan was getting progressively more and more angry. And I was just kind of like chilling, like, hey, well, you know, I'm not or I'm not mad or whatever. Like everything's chill. And then like as the other person digs himself in deeper and deeper, like as long as you can kind of like see the winds changing, like you're, you're okay. You plus D. So like as long as you're kind of like chill with the Kingstar stuff and like doing what you say, like tweeting out like, hey, like if you disagree with my takes or whatever, like feel free to stop by. You guys can ask questions or whatever um i can clarify what i said and then you kind yeah. of chill like if he keeps going in on you you typically like it's if one person is being nice on a side of things and then another person is being really mean you have to be very sociopathic to, to think that like the guy being mean is on the right it's just a really hard thing yep that makes perfect sense basically you just keep and that was your same strategy with like the hassan situation you're saying it's like basically you just like wanted to respond objectively as possible so that you didn't like eventually it would yeah not um, even objectively yeah. but just like well without ad hominem so yeah exactly or, or as much as just yeah. avoid yeah just avoid looking mean or whatever yeah yep yeah that makes total sense okay wait um, real fast Devin, do you think you were yeah. right and that he was wrong in this case what like, do you well, think the doesn't... criticism is unfounded mm, no i think i i think i took a, a pretty serious position on it um with not full information and i had to already walk that back like three videos later because i didn't have everything so i think it's not Wait, what, what what changed what changed was um that the <laughs> what i think changed is that i think that the ceo of phase has very deep connections to i didn't realize i didn't know there was a ceo of phase i thought that that um banks was like and like a few of the other people that have no business sense are, are the people that are running it but it's actually run by a pretty hard-hitting individual who has a lot of connections with uh, in law he was a previous da um he also has uh, and I, I feel like he has connections to the labor commission or enough so that like he's not like labor commissions if they look into this they're going to get fines at worst and, and and maybe nothing happens right um what i think changed is that i i put a lot of stock on the Brian Friedman's narrative that he was going to go in on the Labor Commission and raise the issues that have been long standing in esports, like are esports people employers or contractors? These are things that we've been worried about for years. And I thought those were going to come to light when I, and then like I kind of realized over the period of time that that was unfolding that, that one, FaZe would probably have the, the connections to deal with that. And number two, um, Brian Friedman isn't really doing that. Tifu's lawyer, he's probably just trying to get Tifu out of a contract. So like, so like what his narrative was in the beginning to like champion esports players and get this brought up to like a California court to decide if esports players could be locked into these exclusive contracts, that doesn't seem to actually be his narrative at this point. Oh, you're talking about Tifu's lawyer, right? Yeah, that the whole yeah. idea was yeah, that he was just he using was, it as yeah. leverage in order to try to exactly. get them to say like, yeah. well, I don't want to deal with this shit, fuck it. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so that so that gets him out of the contract, and that was the, I think my mistake was that I, I operated believing that Tifu's lawyer had the agenda that he had originally stated and didn't, um, and that didn't really come to execution or hasn't so far. the The other thing too is that like these things take a really long time, right? So it might be months or months or not years um, before we have any kind of like conclusion on this when the labor commission actually takes the time to look into the issue. You really think the labor commission is going to take a look into this? I think um, when you look at issues like underage, um, underage employment, no. and you look at issues like, like well, it, it, I, it, the underage employment, like to a certain extent, but like that was his the kid's parent. That was a uh, the high sky or whatever dude's uh, yes. parents like bullshitting, right? Well, they're they're definitely making a mistake too, right? Like, but but like having like the the issues of having kids in a house um, who are sort of employees and sort of not. Who are underage, who are in, in where there's drinking going on, where there's um, and then like all that stuff kind of like put together, it feels like to me that that's something that the labor commission would turn their head at, and, and that combined with the, the the really prevalent issue, which is like our esports people talent, like all that kind of coming together feels like they could they could turn their head, but I always overestimate 
or underestimate how like absolutely lazy the government is and like how long it takes them to pay attention to anything. Sure, but regardless, in this case, couldn't you just say, okay, I was wrong, sorry? And like, wouldn't that be the solution? Well, I'm wrong so far. <laughs> so, like, like I'm, I'm wrong until I'm not, yeah. You also I have mean, to be I, careful I in saying that you're wrong because people aren't going to levy, so like Keemstar isn't going to levy the claim at you that you were incorrect about some piece of information. He's going yeah. to levy the claim at you that you hate FaZe and you were trying to destroy them. You can't admit that you're wrong when that's what somebody's attacking you with because if you admit that you're wrong, then they think you're admitting guilt to all of that. So you have to be careful about that. Yeah, that's fair. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I still think it's really possible that the Labor Commission comes in and does something. Um, I just don't know the extent to which that would actually affect FaZe in the long term. Um, like the worst of it that I said was that they could stop doing business in California. But I thought that that was reaching even when I said it. And I, and I mentioned that. Again, this is like the full context of the videos that I posted, right? Did anything ever happen with streaming in Germany? Do you, ever, do you remember hearing about this for, shit? For what? I thought a while ago, fuck, was it like a year ago? I thought that somebody got in trouble with like the government where they, like they came in and randomly like oh wait if you want to stream you need a light of like a radio license to do it or something holy shit and then like everybody was worried that in germany it was going to change like the entire streaming everything because now streamers were going to need to get like radio license or something oh pokemon challenge is here german did that go through do you actually need like a license in germany to stream do you just hope to not get caught or Yes, you do. The, Wait, so what all goes really? into like, getting a radio license in Germany? But it's very rarely enforced. Yeah, probably. Oh, it's just not enforced. Okay. Yeah, that sounds true. So you just Can he to... get banned off for Twitch if he doesn't oh, have, like, illegal. Breaking the law? So the, the big thing that I'm kind of like waiting for with streamers is this whole idea of like so so this is one thing destiny like that i think about a lot is like and it's the same with the esports problem can twitch really hold people to exclusivity on their platform or, or you know, is that i don't know platform? yeah i don't know that sounds like bullshit yeah. to me i really don't understand how um like how they can do it i really i don't understand how i can get banned from a platform and i can't seek employment elsewhere and i'm just a contractor that feels so fucking wrong to me i don't I understand yeah and, and, and that's that, and, and that's the same problem that esports is going through, where it's like, okay, you can't play for another team, even though you're not classified as an athlete. And that's what I actually thought that FaZe was going to go up for. I thought they were going to become the poster child of that, because that's what Brian Friedman actually said he's going after. I was like, well, like oh, shit. How do they work it out like in the NFL and shit? Like, are you an employee of the Green Bay they're, Packers? Uh, they're or a like... totally different classification. They're an athlete. Um, uh -huh. The government actually has a classification for athletes. But that's oh, not, but, but e esports, e -sports don't. Yeah. Are they really not? No, definitely not. W don't you get? Don't you normally get? Um, what are the athlete visas? You get, you get we can get. We can get a P one A for for them. Uh huh. Um, but I think that's like a. Is that a talent visa? I I got a ton of P one A. It's like extraordinary people. talent or some shit. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's it, it's not a uh, the athlete visa is an O one A I believe, or something like that. Um, I, I'm I'm probably wrong on this. It's been a while since I did visa applications, but I I do specifically remember like when we were when we were bringing. Uh, we had to bring Jake Jake Puchero, uh, Exmathy into the into the country mm -hmm. th from the Philippines. We did a P1A, and that was that was fine. Gotcha. Um, yeah. So so like I, they're not because they're not classified as athletes. They don't get whatever like protections. Um, they're not really classified as anything. So if anything, they can be classified as like employee employees or contractors, and that's where this issue gets kind of weird. Mm -hmm. Wait, I'm curious, Stephen. You don't think that it's okay that that Twitch, if they were to ban you for seven days, that uh, they could tell you in the meantime you couldn't stream elsewhere? Not if I'm not an employee of theirs. This seems fucked yeah. up. Yeah. Well, no, no. Yeah, you can, but then you just can't come back. So they're not. They're not. They're saying, hey, if you want to come back, then you can't. Yeah, but if you're making my contract work with you conditional on me doing it exclusively, it feels like I'm not a contractor at that point. It feels like I'm an employee of your company. Especially when you, and I feel like there's a lot of other arguments you can make there too. Like if you start to make it so that, um, that well, like, they're essentially paying you with Twitch Prime. That's, but yeah, they're mean, not, but they're, they're not, they're, con they're, they're contracting me for work that I'm giving them, right? I, I'm not like an employee they're of They're not contracting you. 
What do you mean? I mean, like, it's like you're using their platform. I mean, I, I don't feel like... Yeah, but like, it, I'm not... Quit. But the, if I was just using their platform, that's one thing. But not only do they, like, exclusively hold me to their platform in order to utilize it, they also, like, I can get in trouble on their platform for things that I even do off-platform. That just seems really weird. I just, I don't know how else... Like, if I was, like, a construction worker and I did roofing, and then all of a sudden I get on Twitter and I say some dumb shit about, like, another roofing company, and I'm just a contractor, like, could that could that roofing company come back? If I was just a contractor, be like, hey, we're gonna dock your pay or some shit? I don't know, that just seems, like, really weird. Like, yeah, they could fire you, of course. Well, That's they could not work with you anymore, but, like, the idea of being held in an exclusive arrangement that I sign on to, and then my off-platform content is policed by... It, I don't know. Just don't stream to Dude, that's avoid exactly bands, what idiot. happens in the real world right now. Like, it's, if it was a site-wide policy, would that change your mind? No, I just, I, I feel like the exclusivity thing plays, it just doesn't feel, my relationship to Twitch feels like they're an employer of mine. It doesn't yeah. feel like I'm a contractor. I don't, I, I, like, what would, what more would they have to do for me to be an employee and not a country? Like, what other differences could they even possibly do at this point? Aside from, well, like, providing specific training or direction care. or something. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, it's the same way. Let me ask you this. If you sold a lot on eBay, would you feel like eBay was your employer? If I sold my what? If you were a full-time seller of shit on eBay, Damn. would you say that eBay the was your employer? Is, wait, no, no, wait. I would. I would. If, you can sell on eBay, but you can't sell on Amazon. Yeah. And you can't sell. Yeah, yeah if, that's if eBay yeah, told if you're me. A power, it, if you get that power seller thing on eBay, you can't do that. So Really? That yeah, yeah, of course, because you get the preferential rates. I can tell you with Amazon, they do the same thing. I don't get... Oh, hold on, I can't... There's people that get different rates than other people on the condition that you do not work with other people. Yes, this absolutely exists, 100%. It exists right now. Wow. With Amazon, with eBay. Yeah, that seems really weird to me. I don't know. I don't like it. I, I, I'm, I guess like the argument that I would say, I guess in the context of Twitch is like, okay, Twitch is a California-based company, right? Uh, in California, it's specific that you you cannot have any kind of exclusive agreement with any company where you can't, where that will bar you from working somewhere else. Well, right? I don't think that's true. Um, so the different, so for also for the record, um, this is like a very gray area because this is like one of the most abused things of all time. Like people, like you can go and find people talking about how like a lot of companies have come under reevaluation um, because of like abusing this contractor thing. Um, yeah. So for, in order to decide whether or not an employee is a contractor or an employee, I think there's like a 20 question litmus test that like the, the, the IRS, IRS or whatever yeah. can ask you. And it's not, it's, it's kind of like arguing fair use for like copyright. It's not like an ironclad, like this is guaranteed and this isn't, but there are like a lot of indicators that can be like, oh yeah, well this is probably, you know, we actually, we can run through those real quick. Fuck. I'm going to be on Roush soon, but we can like look at them real quick. Actually, if somebody wants to Google it. Um, yeah, are you sure. talking about the IRS test? Yes. Or... Okay. On. Sure. I mean, because that, that's only going to be specific for federal taxes. Like, California might have different uh, standards. Seconds, sure. So, okay. So, here is the 20 points that have been established. Okay. Must for the, the IRS. Yeah. So, must the individual take instruction from your management staff regarding when, where, and how work is to be done? Mm, I, probably not on this one. You can stream wherever you want, um, typically, and you can stream in whatever manner you want, typically, uh, as long as you're by, by the TOS. So, like, that's okay. Um, Sorry, okay. Uh, does the individual receive training from your company? Twitch doesn't provide any direct training. Um, is the success or continuation of your business somewhat dependent on the type of service provided by the individual? That's uh, pretty much a yes, right? Twitch does rely on that. So that's like one point for the 1099, two points for the W-2, I think. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm trying to understand this third one. Is the success of you, the contractor, dependent on well, I mean, couldn't you say you could go to YouTube? So it's you the success is the success or continuation of your business. So, so like Twitch, case, you'd be, you'd dependent be on the type of service provided by the talent, the individual. Oh, the other way. Um, yeah, sure. For sure. Here, I can link you this too so you can read along. No, okay. Yeah, sure. <clears throat> um, must the individual personally perform the contracted services? I don't know. Actually, I don't know what the rules are on Twitch for this one. If you have a stream, do you have to personally do it, or could you get no, somebody no, no, else to because stream? No, 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 because there's been like the Twitch plays Pokemon, and there's been shit that uh -huh. there isn't even a person. Yeah, you can access. get other people. Okay, mm -hmm. so you could outsource that, yeah. Have you hired, supervised, or paid individuals to assist the worker in completing the project stated in the contract? Well, no. Do How like... has Twitch hired someone to help me? A streamer who's not even a, like a, a mm -hmm. you know. I would say probably not for this one. I don't know if like account managers and stuff would fall under this purview. I don't think so. So I'd probably mm. say, um, 
Is there a continuing relationship between your company and the individual? Of course, usually for many years. Um, must the individual work set hours? I believe to qualify, well, actually, um, in this is yes, I'm almost positive. No, I don't, I don't agree because I can just stop streaming at any point right now. So yeah, but then won't, won't you, don't you have to stream a minimum number of hours for partnership to like even qualify yeah, for it? Yeah, you do. No, to get it initially, I don't know if this was, that's what this question is asking specifically. Yes, you have to work a certain amount of hours to complete the form on their site. But once you're a partner or an, or an affiliate, by the way, right? Mm -hmm. uh, affiliate doesn't even need that. You don't have to stream at all. You could just fuck I'm, off. I'm and pretty sure. Okay, I, I'll give that one. Although I think there are some contracts that mandate like a minimum hour streamed. Um, mm -hmm. But 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 I'll, we'll, we'll say that's not. Um, <clears throat> Uh, is there a continuing? Must the individual work set hours? No, you don't have to do that. You have full no. control of your schedule. Is the individual required to work full time at your company? Nope, you don't have to do that. Um, no. Is the work performed no. on company premises? Nope, although it is no. digital. So that's kind of weird, but I, I, we'll, we'll say probably no for that one. Um, is the individual required to follow a set sequence or routine in the performance of his work? Probably not. Must the individual no. give you reports regarding his or her work? I don't think so, no. Um, is the individual paid by the hour, week, or month? You typically get paid a commission, so no. Do you reimburse the individual for business or travel expenses? Not unless you're specifically contracted to go to like TwitchCon or something. Um, do you supply the individual with needed tools or materials? I don't think so, um, unless digital stuff counts because the digital show is kind of weird. Like they give you like the ingest, shirt, ingest server shit. I, I don't know if that would count under that though. Um, have you made a significant investment in facilities used by the individual to perform services? I would um, say that one's true. Yeah, I, I, yeah I'm not sure. Do yeah, all these it's need weird to be because true, it's no, no, no. This is no. just like this is like roughly like the the checklist they use as a guideline okay. that these are the mm -hmm. things that they look through. Um, is the individual free from suffering a loss or realizing a profit based on his work? Is the individual free from suffering? You may either just pay, get paid nothing mm -hmm. or make something. So, so yes. You oh, can so yeah, you would be yeah. For a, yeah. Does the individual only perform services for your company? If you're exclusive, then yes. Does the individual limit the availability of his services to the general public? If you're contracted, then yes. Aren't uh, all Twitch contracts now exclusive? Uh, I think it's only sure. partners, right? Yeah, partners. Well, partners yeah. Yeah. Um, do you have the right to discharge the individual? Yes. Um, yeah. And then may the individual terminate his services at any time? Um, I think you have to give like a 60-day written notice or something. Wait, to no, get I... unpartnered? or if, if you want to break your contract, don't you have to give like a written termination or whatever? What, wait, what does breaking surprised. your contract with Twitch even entail? Do they just take you off the platform? You like, get, well, you, your partnership gets removed and everything. Oh, I didn't even know that's possible. Has that ever happened? Um, I don't know if anybody would intentionally do it, but... Um, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, but anyway, yeah. I mean, I don't know. I feel like you, I feel like you have an argument there for like, I feel more like an employee than a contractor. But I, but I mean, I could see it going either way, so... Um, okay. Yeah. I love you all. I'm going to hop over to Raj. Thanks, man. Um, thanks for helping with this. I appreciate it a lot. Yep. Peace out. I'm going to keep mining, Mr. Min, okay? Okay. Okay, I got to get back to my thing. I'll see you guys later. Have Take a good care. man. All right, hey, if you got Twitch Primes, you better fucking use them on me instead of Raj, okay? I love you all very much. I'm going to go over and uh, join Raj's stream, okay? I love you guys. We're going to cappuccino, 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 my dudorinos.